an effort to dress up for this, so who am I to disappoint everyone? I think I'll just relax and stay in this dream a little while longer. Uh, what am I doing? I can't go through with this. Not after everything that's happened. Come on, Raph. Wake up. Wake up! I don't think I should be doing this. Where are you, Cox? Now that I need you, where are you? Thanks for being my alarm clock. Although, to tell you the truth, Cox, that was something like my dream come true and a nightmare all at the same time, if you know what I mean. Well, we're up, so what do you say we have some fun? A little exercise should take my mind off of, you know. Huh? I wonder if that's really Sulphus. Huh? Oh, you're right, I'm being silly. I'm hopeless, Cox. I just can't get him out of my mind. How come you're oh. not enjoying your vacation somewhere? Huh? Uri, Sweet, and Mickey! Oh! What are you doing here? Looking for you, of course. What do you think we're doing, Raph? And we have a surprise. Come on now, show her the flyer. Ah! Oh. Huh? Summer school? Exactly, but it'll just be for two weeks. Alpenville Sunny College. <laughs> I wonder if they have any awesome boutiques in Alpenville. Maybe, but it'll definitely be lots of fun. We can earn credits and maybe even score an internship. What do you say? Do you want to join us? Well, just let me think about it. You're afraid of running into Selfis, aren't you, my friend? Whatever gave you that idea? I saw what went on back there. It doesn't take a genius to see that you've got a problem. I didn't notice anything, did you? <laughs> and your problem just happens to go by the name of hmm. Selfish. I just can't hide anything when it comes to you. It's all over your face. Hey, for all you know, the Alpenville campus could be filled with hunks. And if one of them dumps you, you'd forget all what? about... Oh, I was only trying to help. Listen, Raph, if you don't want to come with us, that's your decision. However, summer school requires hard work. So I don't think devils would want to sign up for something like that. You're right. Sulphus would never volunteer for extra homework. You can count on that, Raph. Well, that just settles it. I'm in. No way. I'm staying right here. Why would I want to go to class during my summer vacation? But everyone knows summer school isn't like regular school. It's like a big party. Will the angels be there? Hmm? What if they are? I sure don't care. Uh, Poor
Poor Sulphus. Are you worried about running into your little cherub? <sighs> no. What makes you say that? Then what's the problem? It should be a blast, and nobody likes fun more than us devils. If you like it so much, just go by yourself. Because she wants you to come. Gas, Kabiria. How's it going? I'd hate to think you were planning something without consulting your best friends. If by something you meant summer school, we weren't planning anything. Sulphus has decided not to come. No, no, I don't even want to hear of it. Croak, put his tools away. That's it, Basilisk. Show that crummy frog who's master. Just don't swallow it. So what's the deal? Are you going to come with us or not? Sure, but only if it's one nonstop party. I guarantee it. Huh? What's the matter? You don't trust your friends. Since when do I trust devils? Come on, Sulphus, make up your mind. <sighs> Since you insist, I'll go. Excellent, all right. <laughs> hmm. Alpenville, here we come. Well, girls, what did I tell you? <sighs> Isn't it just totally fabulous? <sighs> All that green down there makes me think Shopping. of... Shopping! <laughs> we'll time for that later. Right now, we better check in. Yes, oh, come on, guys! Hey, we're here! here. Hey. Come on, can't you keep up? <gasps> They've even got a nice pizzeria! Then that means the students must surely live in town. I think they live in the dorms. Look! Huh? Do I see Andrew, Jennifer, and Edward? Mateo and the twins. Looks like everyone's here. Everybody, including a few people I'm sure we'd like to forget. So the slackers want to study? At least we won't be going to school with total strangers. Now don't start worrying, Raph. <gasps> Excuse me, ladies. Allow me to quote Shelley. Oh, lift me as a wave, a leaf, a cloud. Thank you. <laughs> it's a ribbon of verse from Shelley's Ode to the West Wind. I'm sure you've heard of it. I mentioned it because the wind is blowing through your hair. It is? <laughs> <laughs> Such charming ladies. We call the wind the sigh of deception because the wind can drown out truths or reveal them. It sounds like normal wind to me. Uh, no, that's where you're wrong. When you hear the sigh of deception, it means anything can happen. Anything can happen? In fact, I haven't heard that sound until the moment the three of you arrived. See you around! Hey, wait a minute! How could you leave without telling us your name? But I'll bet even his name is Hunky. Sweet, you are hopelessly boy crazy. But there are no words in the angelic vocabulary to describe those eyes, those lips, those gl- We get it already, right, angels? Well, he is kind of fascinating, right, Raph? Maybe he'll be the one to help me get over... Raph! Huh? Yes. Well, why don't we just take a look at where we'll be staying? Check out the van! How stylish! Seems a little cramped for all four of us. Wow! Mm -hmm. I think it's just perfect! It's like a dream, but it's real! Ah, look at this closet! And you thought there wouldn't be enough room! Hopefully you could fit all of your dresses in there. It would be the first closet in history to hold them all. Well, there's an idea. I think I'll change into a new outfit before I go to class. Huh? No classes? At least for today. I think we've been invited to a party. What kind of party is it? Ah, it's a costume party put on by the summer school. There will be live music, and you have to be in your earthly version but wear a mask and a fancy evening gown. That sounds pretty interesting. Seriously, parties, music, dresses, and masks? Without much effort, this summer school trip is turning into the best vacation we've ever had. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> There's going to be a party in the pizzeria. Didn't I tell you summer school would be fun? Let me try the bed. 
This school is awesome! Well then, <laughs> do your best not to demolish ah, it. It's good to be back, devils. I've missed you too, Selfus. Yeah. Huh? Mm. Oh, when did you say this party started? In just a little while. And remember, we all have to be in our earthly forms and wear masks. Well, what are we lounging around here for? Get ready. What are we gonna eat? Just wait and see. Basilisk, activate metamorphosis. With deception and craftiness, I will leave the spirit world and enter the terrestrial. <laughs> activate metamorphosis! Activate metamorphosis! Lampo, activate metamorphosis! <gasps> to preserve and protect with love and honesty! <laughs> With wisdom and sincerity! I leave the spirit world and become terrestrial! You all look so beautiful. It's your turn. Aren't you going to change? No. I can't go. You two go ahead. I'll catch up with you at the pizzeria. <laughs> now come on. Summer school could be a great chance for you to forget about your problems. Uri, I know I'll be missing out on all the fun, but I have this premonition. Maybe you're misinterpreting your seventh sense. Am I going to have to beg you, Raph? <laughs> no, that's okay. Hawks, activate metamorphosis! Wow, check it out! Sweet is right, Raph. You look positively stunning. You're just being kind. Ah, I bet you'll break some hearts tonight. Um, sweet, remember that even though we may be in human form, we're always angels. You're absolutely mm -hmm. right. But who says angels can't indulge in a little heavenly mischief? Mateo is really good with that guitar, and the girls seem to be having a lot of fun. But I still can't relax. My seventh sense is really tingling. Maybe I should go out and get some air. Pardon me. Sorry. Oh. I can't even hear the music anymore. It's like there's no one else in the room but her. Sorry, didn't see there. Please, it was my fault. Are you leaving? I was just going for some air. Well, let's go get some together. Mm -hmm. That music was really tough on my eardrums. I know what you mean. This terrestrial is nice. <laughs> She's something huh? special. A bit windy, isn't it? Yeah, around here it's called the Sigh of Deception. But I think I'll be going now. Uh, wait! Your name? You never told me. Uh. Uh. Huh? Oh. Oh. Solfus? Uh. Oh. Wait, don't go! Uh. No, let me go! We shouldn't be out here like this! It's wrong! Just uh. wait a moment! We uh. need to talk! Coming to summer school was a mistake. I didn't know you were here! Leave me alone! What have I done? You've stolen my heart! That's what you've done! I came here to get over you! Why don't you answer me? What are you hiding? I can't tell him the truth that our love can never be, even though I wish otherwise. I need an excuse. Raph, 
Is there someone else? Yes! I'm in love with another boy. No, I don't believe you. Who is this guy? What's his name? You know that angels cannot lie except in earthly form. It's true then? Oh. What have I done? I've broken his heart. Sulfus, are you alright? Of course I am. I'm a devil. We are heartless, remember? Now beat it! Get out of here! Uh, I'm so sorry. Wake up, sleepyhead! Uh -huh. Classes for summer school start today! Uh -huh. Wake up! You said that Sulphus wouldn't be here! Well, I guess we were wrong! Right, girls? Hmm? But you can still have fun! Huh? How so? I doubt it! But you have to get out of bed, Raph! You have a responsibility to Andrew! Okay, I guess you're right. Leave me alone! I'm not going to class! But you have to! No way! Besides, you said summer school was going to be nothing but fun! Well, I was lying, but that's to be expected from our kind. Yeah, just like how I told everyone I showered this morning when they asked about that funny smell. If it makes you feel any better, Gaz, I never believed you. Maybe you're just afraid of bumping into a certain blonde. I'm not afraid of anybody. Huh. And that's another lie I wouldn't believe in. Hmm. All right, let's go. Hmm. I'm glad you signed up for this class, Mickey. I always said you have a lot to learn. And if you shut your mouth once in a while, maybe you'd actually lose a few tons of blubber. And I admire you, sweet, even though you've given up on hair and makeup. I don't know. Actually, I've been trying to go for your look. And Yuri, I do hope you're making new friends. The mountains around here are full of mindless sheep. You should feel right at home. It would be better to make friends with sheep than old goats with horns, like you. Don't I mean anything to you, Raph? I didn't want to hurt you. Welcome, angels and devils. To Eternity Summer School. My name is Scarlet. And I'm Terrence. We'll be teaching Earthly Acting 101. He's a teacher? She's a teacher? Now you're probably wondering. I wasn't. Well done, Gas. Humans are known for their curiosity, so you've just shown why you need this class. I must be losing my touch. That's right. You see, earthly acting is the art of behaving exactly like a real terrestrial. That means mimicking their idiosyncrasies and actions. But when we transform, we pass for terrestrials. And they're better at shopping. Who would want to act like a terrestrial anyway? Some of them are really stupid. You're both right. And wrong. Uh. You see, as terrestrials grow older, they become more cautious and suspicious. And if you can't convince them that you're one of them, they might be able to identify you. They also have a way of hiding their intentions, their thoughts and true feelings. It's important that we learn to identify this behavior. Are you saying they're all liars? They've said no such thing! In so many words, they have! Now, now, students, there's no need to argue. That brings us to our very first lesson, body language. Terrestrials continuously and unconsciously use their bodies to send signals to each other about how they're feeling. Looking down may indicate shyness. Brushing hair back could be a way to express interest in someone. Learning to decipher body language will help you determine whether terrestrials are lying, upset, nervous, or in love. And it will help you improve your skills at guarding them. Or tempting them. Welcome to the theater, kids. Real nice! It's beautiful! I love it! Is it for sale? You know, this theater looks to me like the theater in Zolfinello City. Yeah, each play was an excuse to party, and after a while, the joint was in shambles. Speaking of shambles, look around. It looks like the audience must have left in a hurry. Yeah, and they left it in ruins. Oh, it's just a little rundown. It's about as messy as Valerio's uh, vest. <laughs> oh, don't insult the theater. Huh? Sure, there's a little bit of dust, but that's precisely why we prepared a little surprise for all of you. Okay, raise the curtain. Ready to start cleaning? Huh? What do I look like, some kind of maid? I don't even clean up at home. This is even worse than schoolwork. You never know, you might have fun. 
And as soon as this theater is in tip-top shape, you kids will have a chance to put on your first show for <gasps> us. Huh? Show? You've got two weeks to restore this historic old theater and put on your own production for everyone in town. And believe you me, every citizen in Albinville will attend the grand reopening and expect to be entertained. Ugh, what? Who dares invade my theater? The Prince Theater must remain closed forever. I have to drive them away somehow. Grisera, where are you? Grisera, your master needs you. I will make sure they live to regret their intrusion. Look what I found! Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare! Maybe this was the last production they put on in this old theater! No wonder the audience ran out of here! <laughs> <laughs> but Romeo and Juliet is a beautiful story! Good girl! Well said, Jennifer! She's such a nerd! Why don't we make this our production? They want us to do Romeo and Juliet? Why not? It's a classic story! My humans got good taste! A hmm. boring classic, yeah! It's so old, who'd remember it? It's just for old folks. Just for old folks? It's filled with murder, blood, passion, and violence. <gasps> You're right, sweet. Edward does have excellent taste. You serious? Uh. Sure. Two of the main characters even die at the end. Well, I never thought I'd say this, Edward, but that was cool. Maybe we could update it and put in a little rock music. Yeah, great. Since when do you angels know anything about rock? Well, I love it, and we've already picked all the leads. Huh? Andrew and Jennifer are the perfect lovebirds to play Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> huh? Huh? Why can't they just leave them be? Because it's kind of funny. Well then, if you're just not up to it... Of course I'll do it. I'll be Juliet. And you'll be playing Romeo, right? Huh? I'm... Hey, what's wrong? Maybe he's just sick of Jennifer. Maybe he found out that she likes someone else, Raph. Not true. <gasps> Look, if you don't, uh, I'll think about it. Let me read it first. Huh? Huh? <gasps> I'm nervous about being on stage, let alone playing the main part, but I don't want to let Jennifer down. Just come up with a lie and get out of it. No, lying is wrong. Oh, sure. It's better to break the hearts of those who love you, right, Raph? Mm. I'll convince him. We'll see about that. Oh, a challenge? A challenge. How about a mountain bike race? <laughs> the first one at the bottom gets the first crack at influencing Andrew. <laughs> 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 Uh, what do we make this more interesting? If I win, you'll tell me who you're really in love with. No! He knows I can't lie as an angel. What's his name? Say it! Uh, 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 what are you doing? That's cheating! You can't make contact. I've already broken that rule once. Now tell me who it is! It's you, Sulphus. It's only you. But I can't admit it. I won't admit it. Uh, 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 I have to think of something fast or he'll overtake me. Speed fly! And just where do you think you're going? She's too fast for me. I'll have to find a shortcut. Maybe a nice little trip through the woods. I better be careful. I don't want to... 
That was a little too close for comfort. That's enough. Body fly! That's much better. How about lending me a hand, Basilisk? Now this is a race! Almost there! Oh no, he's catching up! Now I asked you a simple question and I never got the answer! Why don't you keep your mind on the road? Uh, I'll need to slow down to handle that curve up ahead. I better slow down, but I want an answer! Uh, uh, if I slow down, he'll demand an answer from me and I couldn't possibly tell him the truth! I must know who she's in love with! Slow down or you'll go over that cliff! Why don't you slow down? Uh, 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 Dolphus! Uh, All right, you win. You get the first shot at Andrew. Well, I've won the race. Now let's hope I'm successful with Andrew. I take thee at thy word and never call the hen house, for I will be... Oh, this stuff is hard to remember. I take thee at thy word, call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. Gee, he's a disaster. It's no use. I'm a disaster. How can I explain this to Jennifer? I'm just not cut out for this. You're wrong. You just need a little help. Come on, Cox. Activate metamorphosis! For preserving and protecting, with love, honesty, wisdom, and sincerity, I leave the spirit world and become terrestrial. I'm going to transform and let the fight begin. Lady, by yonder blessed moon, I swear, that tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. Juliet, oh, oh- swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon that monthly changes in her circled orb, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. How romantic! Romeo and Juliet! Yeah, A and you know it? Of course, I'm an aspiring actress. I'm studying drama here at college. Well, you're a lot better at it than me. I'm a disaster. No, it's just a matter of practice. You'll see. I have to face facts. I'm no actor. You have to give it time. I'm in this mess because of a girl. She wants to play Juliet, and she wants me to play Romeo. It's a dumb idea. If you don't like acting, then just tell her. As my mom used to say, it's always best to be open and honest with the people we care about. Sounds easy, but what if she ends up disappointed? Sometimes the truth can hurt people. Well... I'm no one to talk. You see, it's like this. Uh, huh? Uh, uh, uh. She doesn't follow her own advice. Thanks, but I've got it under control. <laughs> These actress types are kind of flighty. Know what I mean? You study acting? I'm more of what we in the business call a drama coach. Interested in taking a few lessons? Well... Unnecessary. He's fine. But my acting technique can even help guys out of jams with their girlfriends. Oh, you can do that? <laughs> it's simple. I'll teach you a few tricks that'll help you come up with a convincing lie or two that'll get you out of this mess. Now listen. No! The first step in becoming a great actor is learning to lie. Huh. Whew, we're finished. <gasps> hey, we did it, guys! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> They cleaned this theater from top to bottom. And now it looks brand new. Too new for me. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with it. That's only because you have bad taste. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. I wonder what's keeping Selfus. I don't know, but here comes Andrew. Look. It's Selfus. Speaking of the devil, as they say. I can't help but wonder what those two have been up to. Andrew, what happened? Where did you go? Yeah, what's the matter, pretty boy? Don't want to work? No, I just need some time to think. So you're going to play the lead part of Romeo? No. Andrew, why? Please, tell her the truth, Andrew. He'll lie. Watch. Because it's kid stuff. I wouldn't be caught dead making a fool of myself in that crummy play. <gasps> See? I told you he'd lie. Okay, I'll do it. Huh? huh? <gasps> huh? What's he gonna do? Ah, uh, something wickedly cool, hopefully. If Andrew doesn't want to play Romeo, then you can count on me to do uh... it. 
<laughs> Is he kidding? She doesn't cross the street without her boyfriend. Well, I guess there's a little trouble in paradise. My goodness, why can't those two give it a rest? They're just having fun. All right, Edward, if Andrew doesn't mind, I'll be happy to be your Juliet. Huh? Of course I mind. No, fine by me. Go ahead. Solvis, congratulations. I was only doing my job. All right, Glycera, it is time. Get rid of these meddling kids any way you can. Did you hear something strange? <gasps> Tarantulas! <gasps> Disgusting! Stupendous! <gasps> <gasps> We're so being invaded! Wait, run! <gasps> oh, oh, run! Oh, Let's oh, get out of here! Oh, 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 they've got us surrounded! We have got to help, but we can't use our powers in front of the humans. We can, if we're crafty about it. Sulfus, we have to do it without being noticed. Do you have any ideas? We'll take care of the kids. You just worry about the tarantulas. Devils, follow me. Kabiria, <laughs> <laughs> kill the lights. We'll have to move quickly. Got it. <laughs> Fly! <gasps> hey, who turned out the lights? Great, Kabiria. Yeah, but it won't last for long. It's just long enough. Macro fly! Showtime, devils! Huh? Ah! Huh? <laughs> 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 Say goodnight! <laughs> Your turn! The tarantulas mustn't reach the kids. We're gonna need a barrier. One barrier coming up, Rav. Wall fly! Great! Okay, and now, in flame! Huh? That's weird. Those spiders are holograms. And with every hit they take, they seem to just multiply. Sweet, you've got to try to use Video Fly backwards. It may do the trick. Good thinking. Video Fly! <laughs> That's teamwork. Angels, friends, together forever. They've beaten Grycera. Impossible. It may not be so easy to rid my theater of these vermin, but I'll stop at nothing until they're gone. What is it, Grycera? Yes, I know. I must do something about that, but not at this moment. Soon, Grycera. Those spiders gave me the shivers. Well, nobody was hurt by them, right? They're only little spiders. We probably just spooked them. Yeah, when we pulled the curtain off of us, they just suddenly vanished. Exactly. And we probably overreacted. <sighs> I'm tired. Yeah, me too. It's been a really crazy day. Let's get some rest. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Edward's not interested in acting. He's using that as an excuse to get close to Jennifer. But Jennifer is Andrew's girlfriend. Well, maybe she doesn't love him anymore. Not true! It's been a long day, Uri. Maybe we should hit the sack. Summer school is just too interesting. <gasps> no way! Get out of here! What's going on? What's happening? Look what you've done. Why, Raph? I... I didn't want to hurt you, Sophus. 
Ah! Uh, that dream seemed so real! But the girls are still asleep, so it couldn't have been. Why do I keep having the same dream? Why? I wish I knew what it meant. Are you still awake? Is everything okay? Yes, everything's fine, Kabale. Really? You don't look fine. The wind! It's driving me crazy! Are you sure it's the wind? Yes. Because if you're still bothered by Raph, you can always talk to me. <sighs> I know too well it's tough when you love somebody who doesn't love you back. When someone doesn't return your love, you keep hoping things will change, but maybe if you look, you'll find someone new. That won't happen to me, but my heart belongs to Raph. There won't be anyone new. Oh, I see. Okay, Selfus, go ahead and continue to moan about Raph, but the two of you will never be. You can count on it. Today, we begin our second lesson. Terrestrial interaction. Uh, inter what sis? Interaction, right? You know, it's when... Mm, I don't know. It's when you talk to your terrestrial, including when you help them. Or when you hinder them. That's just business as usual. No, not really, Kabale. We're not talking about the supernatural way with all its challenges and choices. Uh -huh. huh? Wait a minute, I don't understand. That's how we've always interacted. That's the point of this lesson, Raph. To really interact with a terrestrial, you have to learn how to think like a terrestrial. Do you really want us to lower ourselves down to their level? Exactly. And to make things easier, we're going to give you something that all terrestrials rely on. Watch the mascot. Come here. To, to talk, talk or, or listen, listen, to receive or send, or send a, a shape-shifting fly phone. Ooh, a phone. Brilliant. I just got a text message. Hey. I just wanted to see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about them, sweet. Let's get to work, girls. I agree. Let's transform. Don't just stand around, you devils. Come on. More work? You must be joking. But, Gas, the best place to interact with terrestrials is the campus pizzeria. Really? Hey, guys, hurry up! Uh, Raph, can I speak with you for a moment? You go on ahead. I'll catch up later. Why did he ask to see her? Is that the guy she's in love with? I was hoping to ask you a question. I wonder if I'm in trouble. I understand Sulphus beat you. Ah, uh, yes. Andrew lied, but I'll fix it. That's the fighting spirit I like to see. And if you ever need any assistance, remember, my door is always open. Well, what do you think? Are you looking forward to the play, Andrew? Yeah, sure. Call me crazy, but I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> I just have my doubts. Andrew's right. We should wait for the teacher. What do you need with a teacher? You got little old me. And who would you be? An acting coach. A great one. He's absolutely right, but I'm modest, so I brought along some help. His theater company, and I'm one of the actresses. I'm the filmmaker. And I'm the producer. Maybe you've seen my work, and for that, I apologize. Uh huh? Huh? What he means is, we're all here to help you. Okay? We'll take Hang it on. from here. You're back! Of course! I offered to help, and that offer still stands. Wait! You're a little late, sister. I think we could use all the help we can get. Exactly, Jennifer. I agree. Hey, how did you know my name? Uh, uh hmm. Excuse me, I'm getting a text. Sorry. Why are we waiting? Let's get started. I know my part. But first, we have to designate jobs. We'd love to take care of the costumes, Edward. Mm -hmm. And since he doesn't want to be in the play, how about letting Andrew direct? You can direct my love scenes with Jennifer. Hmm. Hmm. Believe me, my love. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Andrew, over here. This is where you'll control the scene changes. Nah, leave those buttons alone. You should direct the rehearsals, Andrew. Mm. Wow, it's, it's like, like a, a dream come true. Hark, what light through yonder window breaks? <laughs> it, um, <laughs> sorry, Edward, I mixed up my buttons. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Watch and learn. <gasps>
<laughs> huh? Huh? Don't worry, we'll make it hip. <laughs> huh? Stop! Huh? Stop, 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 stop! Huh? Huh? Stop! Just hold on! Come on, Andrew, what's the problem now? Everything, you, her. But we're rehearsing, just like we're supposed to. Andrew, dear, are you jealous? Uh, no, it's not that. I think Andrew finds something lacking in your chemistry. That's right. Romeo and Juliet court each other without any... Uh... Without any passion? I agree completely. That's why they must embrace. That's unusual behavior for them. It doesn't feel right. Would you prefer it if Romeo and Juliet sent text messages to each other? A <laughs> tragedy with a big phone bell. But that's the problem, right? Edward and Jennifer are just not very convincing. Uh... <sighs> That's a wrap for today. No need to push it. Let's get back to the dorms. Leave him Andrew? alone. You heard what he said. I'll see you all later. I wonder what Edward has planned. Nothing good, I'm afraid. Jennifer will be mine. Soon she'll see that I'm a better catch than Andrew. Fresh pizza coming up. Oh, finally! I can feed my face! Try to save some for the rest of us. You haven't seen anything yet. He'll probably eat the tablecloth for dessert. Oh, oh dear. Not tonight. <laughs> hmm. What's the matter? Don't like pizza? No, I'm just not hungry. Everyone heard that? Yes. I'll take his share. You've got your own. Shut up! I'm a big man! I found out why the theater's closed. Huh? Uh huh? Huh? Let's say I did a little research. So what happened? Is it... A big mystery? It's more than a mystery. It's a terrible, tragic story. I see. Suddenly, this is getting very interesting. Well, don't keep huh? us in suspense, huh? Edward. Out with it. I can tell you the newspapers buried the story. But during a performance of Romeo and Juliet, a ghost attacked the theater. Huh? Like the spiders that attacked us the other day? No, much worse than that. An invisible force threw chairs around, knocked off people's hats, and tore down the curtains, sending everyone screaming into the streets. Well, that explains it. From that point, the theater never reopened. Why didn't the teacher say anything? I believe they're using us as guinea pigs to see what happens. No, I don't believe a word of it. They would never do such a thing, Edward. I think Edward is onto something. If our play goes off without a hitch, they'll reopen the theater. Are you sure? I'm only telling you what I discovered. Huh? <gasps> that's absurd. What did he say? Either that's absurd or more pizza. We should back out. Now. Don't worry. We'll catch the ghost. What do you mean, catch the ghost? How's that? We'll challenge it to come out into the open. How are we supposed to do that? We spend the night in the theater, of course. No, we'll do no such thing. That would be breaking the rules. Raph is correct. It's forbidden. What does that mean? We always say rules are meant to be broken, don't we? Exactly. Now who's with us? You scared? Edward, I won't stand for this. You're trying to trick your friends into breaking the rules. So who are you, his mother? Let him do what he wants to. He's got free will, you know. Besides, if there is a ghost, then all we're doing is helping to save the theater for future generations. Mm. Yeah, right. Let's give it 24 huh? hours and then we'll vote on it. That's fair, right? Okay. Mm. I'm sure when she's had time to think, she'll realize that Edward's being foolish. Smooth, Andrew, but it's gonna backfire. Andrew and Edward are in a battle for Jennifer. If I play it right, Selvis will never remember rejecting me. Why are we meeting like this? Spill it, sweet! We'd like to issue a challenge regarding the decision to spend the night at the theater. A challenge is one thing, but we all have a say in the outcome. Ah. Yes, but today our votes will determine what the gang decides. So let me guess, if you win the challenge, you want us to vote your way, is that it? We protect terrestrials, so we're voting against Edward. But since you tempt them, you'll vote yes. Right! That is, I mean, I'm wrong. I mean, I'm lost. Right, Mickey. Of course we'd like them to spend the whole night in the theater. That's why we're challenging. Whoever wins gets the others to do what they want. And if you win, we vote against Edward. Exactly. And if you win, we'll spend the night in the theater. Got it? We're wasting time. Challenge away, pretty ladies. Hey! Ready for the big challenge, angels? Whitewater rafting? Considering where devils come from, you should have the advantage. Hey, you could at least explain the rules to us. Rules? You know how we feel about rules. It's easy. You just have to get downstream without drowning. Come on, angels. Let's show them who's seaworthy. 
Guess, does your Quake Fly also work in water? One way to find out. Quake Fly! Yeah! They created a whirlpool. We'll have to paddle around it. <sighs> Ori, help us out! Flower, fly! Quick, grab the branch! <laughs> Yay, we did it! They're catching up to us! Think! Let's send them some company! Wild fly! <sighs> Oh. Uh. 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 oh, be careful! They oh, bite! Nikki. Hey, my hair! Angels, cover your ears! Sound fly! Well done, sweet! That'll show them! But they're still ahead of us! Not for long! Sticker fly! What the? These stickers are slowing us down. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this keeps up, they'll beat us. No, we have to spend the night in the theater. My plan won't work. Uh, 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 Double fly! Uh, 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 No fair! Huh? Yeah! Yay! We gave it everything we had! All right! We won! <laughs> yeah! This means we spend the night in the theater, just like mm -hmm. Edward wanted mm -hmm. us to. Hmm. The nature of human beings is awfully complicated. Sometimes fear prevents boys and girls from doing things. And sometimes that same fear can attract them like moths to the proverbial flame. Come on, we have to reach the girls without being seen. But either way, their every transgression always brings about consequences. Hey, Raph, come on, let's go. Who knows what will happen tonight? I'm sure the devils will be up to their old tricks. Yeah, no matter what happens, we'll always have to keep one eye on them. Hawks? Activate metamorphosis! To preserve and protect with love, honesty, wisdom, and sincerity, we leave the spirit world and become terrestrial. Are you guys sure you want to have this sleepover? I never said anything about sleep. We're ghost hunting. You're really not afraid? Not in the slightest. Why should I be? This whole thing's a trick to impress Jennifer. You know he's pretty tough. You have to admit it. I guess you're right, but he don't look it. Unlike our friend Andrew over there. The poor thing is trembling. <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I'm cold. He's cold. It's a warm summer night. Now don't you start. Selfish, why don't you go easy on him? Bah. Hmm. Uh. Mm -hmm. Why are we standing around? Guess Raph and her friends must have chickened out. You'd like that, wouldn't you? All accounted for. Inside. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. But this time, you won't be able to leave. Yes, Grisera. We'll give them a night they won't forget. It's kind of on the dull side, huh? So when does the ghost show up, guys? Maybe he won't. Maybe we should have sent out an invitation ahead of time. <laughs> 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 it's no joke. The ghost just hasn't come out yet. Edward is so intense. That's exactly why I'm nervous. Nice work with Edward, Kamala. <laughs> Finally, he notices me. About time. Let's tell scary stories until he shows up. What? Huh? What would be the point of that? Because ghosts are attracted to fear, right? That's right. And if anyone gets too scared, they just go back to campus. That won't be happening. And as a matter of fact, I'll start. Not gonna give up, eh? No matter. 
Jennifer will soon be mine. I should warn you, this is a true story. I was vacationing with my parents in the mountains when we stumbled upon this creepy old cave. Pretty scary story, Andrew, but what happened to me one night is even worse. <gasps> and they were sold out. True story. <laughs> <laughs> I was really impressed with your story, Andrew. Can we talk but about guess it? guess what? The alligator grew to normal size in the sewer. And this is a true story. It was in the papers and everything. <laughs> 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 Where is everybody? And what's that around Sulphus's neck? That strong wind again! Stop it right now, Raph! It's hopeless! But why? Don't you want to get married, Sulphus? The wedding's off because you broke my heart, remember? <laughs> oh! Uh, my dream is turning into a nightmare. <gasps> what the heck was that noise? It sounds like a bell, Uri. You mean you heard it, sweet? And even the dead would have heard it. Hey! Could you girls please turn those stupid things off? What? But we did. Well, yours are defective. Huh? Uh -uh. Oh, it's the ghost! Oh, it's him! What should we do now? I'm not certain. To be honest, I don't know. It's locked! Uh, We're trapped uh, inside! Somebody help us! Help! Huh? <laughs> Look at them all, they're white as a sheet! Oh, they're really a big threat to the ghost in the theater, right? <laughs> I see, so it was all just a silly just prank! Just a stupid joke! Stupid! Stupid! That was not cool. I thought you weren't afraid of anything, Edward. Andrew, why on earth would you do that? It was just a joke. A joke? But locking us up isn't funny. Huh? But we didn't. Of course you deny it. She's telling the truth. Yeah. Are you defending your new girlfriend? Oh, yeah. And she's more fun. Huh? 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 Look what you two have done. You've ruined everything. You made her forget her boyfriend. Well. Look what your friend Raph has done to Selfus. Huh? What are you talking about, girl? I'm talking about that you're in love with Professor Terrence. They're dating, you know. They're dating? How come you never told us? Is he lying? Ah! Oh no, Jennifer! Uh -huh. She fell on that hole in the ground. Somebody had to make that uh -huh. hole. Hang on, Jennifer. I'm coming after you. Stop it. You can't go down there. It's too dangerous. You'll only wind up hurting yourself. Selfus is right. You can't go down there all by yourself. What should I do? Just stand here and watch? No, Andrew, just let us do it. We'll bring her back safe and sound. You can count on it, Andrew. I don't understand. Why should I let you go down? Because we know this theater inside and out. We've rehearsed in here many times. Andrew, if you really love Jennifer, you'll let us take care of it. Well, what can we do to help out? Take your friends into the makeup and costumes department and lock the door. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, come on, you heard them. I'm counting on you to bring Jennifer back. Come on, Raph. We have to find Jennifer before she gets hurt. Reverse metamorphosis, girls. You heard the lady. Same goes for us. Angels, friends. Together, Together forever. forever. Devil's enemies. Supreme temptation. Let's go. We'll lead the way. Jennifer is our terrestrial too, you know. We'll both do it. Come on, Lampo, give us some light. I hope Jennifer is not badly hurt. For once, we agree on something. It looks as if someone has built a tunnel underneath the theater. But who? You didn't think Edward was telling the truth when he said a ghost haunts the theater, did ya? Well, at first I thought it was just a trick to impress Jennifer. Now why on earth would a ghost hide down there? This is all my fault. I didn't really look after Edward properly. 
sweet. I'm sure everything will turn out just fine. We'll know soon enough. Whatever we were looking for, I think we found it. Hmm. Huh. Where exactly are we? Eh, in a gigantic cave, filled with all kinds of crazy stuff. Look! <gasps> what's inside huh? that crystal? I'm sure that's a video image of the theater! Uh -huh. Over here! Guess, be careful over there! I wonder what's behind door number two! Ugh. Huh? Uh -huh. That wind uh -huh. felt like a punch in the belly! Oh, my poor stomach! Guess is right! The wind is practically beating down that door! I wonder if that's where the sigh of deception is coming from. It feels familiar. Jennifer! We found uh, her! That's where you're wrong. It is I who have found you. We want answers! Tell Why us! Why did you kidnap Jennifer? I am not here to answer your foolish questions. I want you out of my theater. Listen, you! We're not leaving without Jennifer! She's right, and the theater doesn't belong to you. It belongs to the people. For the last time, go away! Leave me! <gasps> I recognize you! You're the fallen angel Tycho! Huh? <sighs> it is Tycho! You remember him as the angel who committed the first sacrilege! Of course! I know what I'm doing is wrong. And I also know what I'm doing is wrong, my love. Mm. Traitor, you kissed your rival! Whatever you do, don't pronounce her name! Go live eternal! All this talk is a waste of my time. You haven't fled, so now you must pay! All of us against just you? And you'd still need help to beat me! Radius Allah! Ugh. Everyone, we need to split up, quick! Ah. Uh. Oh, Kabiria! Uh. Uh. Huh? Now you've got a fight on your hands! Firefly! Uh. Uh. Is that the best you can do, young man? Achilles Allah! Uh. 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 Oh no, Sophus! Are you okay? I'm fine! Uh. This is no challenge. I've been waiting ages to unleash the full fury of my powers on a worthy foe. This is foolish. Uh, we can't do this by ourselves. We have to work uh, together. Selfis, we have to coordinate this. Gather everyone together. What do you have in mind? One simultaneous attack. Gotcha. Gas, are you ready? Born ready. In flame. Huh? Firefly! And Burgerfly! And Ice! Good job, everyone! That'll show him! The big bearded bully. <laughs> nice try, kids, but you're wasting your time. Scoot em. Allah! Ha! Yeah! Let's hear it for the power of angels. <laughs> angels yeah. and devils. We got it. Think again, brats. Brupus <gasps> 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 Halls! What's going on? Huh? Uh, 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 Those sharp stalactites uh, uh, are meant for us! Uh, 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 I owe you one. Mm -hmm. They mustn't have time to regroup. Okay, Grycera, now it's your turn! Mickey, sweet! Be careful, uh, Raph! 
I have to stop that infernal creature before he destroys all of us. Let's see how he copes against a natural enemy of spiders. Transform fly! Or he's become a golden eagle! Stop it, I say! Put Gracera down! Ha! Ori, terrific work! You really came through! Yay! <laughs> oh, sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. Try to contain your enthusiasm. <sighs> You may have won this round, you meddling interlopers, but I have friends who will join this fight. Well, I don't see them. Allow me to introduce them. Multiplicatum! Oh, he's multiplied! Attack! Hey, you guys, you all right? He's beaten them. Listen, Raph. We have to escape. Help us. I have to think of something before he finishes us off. I'll need to communicate with the gang without Tycho noticing. Think fly. Do you hear me? Raph. You're using think fly. Awesome. I never thought I'd be happy to have an angel in my head. Sorry, Kabale, but it was the only way. If we're going to defeat Tycho, we'll need to unleash the power of prism fly. Excellent idea. We once defeated Reyna with Prism Fly. You, mean you almost defeated her, but the best part was when it exploded into an angel star. You always gotta brag about that, don't ya? Listen, now is not the time to argue. Ref is right. We should try Prism Fly. Can we use it to get our friends out of those webs? That I don't know, but either way, we'll find out soon enough. Ready? Just one question. Which Tycho should we hit? The one with the strange pendant around his neck. That should be the real Tycho. We'll only have one chance to do it. They're plotting something. I can feel it. I'll have to strike now. Let's, Let's finish, finish this. Ugh. Prism fly! <sighs> Prism fly! Prism fly! Prism fly! <sighs> Prism fly! Prism fly! <sighs> What's happening? What is the purpose of this? With, With the, the power, power of light, Prism fly! <sighs> 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 Did we beat him? We can't be sure yet. Jennifer! I see her! I'll handle the web. You take care of Jennifer, okay? Yeah. Dry fly! Ugh. Don't worry, I'll take you safely to the ground. <sighs> I think her ankle is broken. She's not the only one with a slight injury. Look over there! Uh, the key. Where is it? Where is it gone? It's broken! You children have no idea of the trouble you have caused! Poor baby, it serves you right. But you children have no idea what's behind that door! Interesting, what about the door? You mean that howling wind? What does it really mean? The Sigh of Deception will get loose and overpower everything like some infernal typhoon! This is the end of us all! You've ruined everything! Huh? <laughs> Calm down and try to explain what's happening! You see, it all started after my embrace with Sigh. Because of our sacrilege, we were exiled by both angelic and devilish forces. We just wanted to love each other, but it was impossible. The nature of angels and the nature of devils prevented us from being together. I had to become human. But that's impossible! We're eternal! Raph's right! We can't become human! You're wrong. There is a way. I take it you've never heard of the tale of the ancient legend known as the Path of Metamorphosis. What is it? That's complete nonsense! You're making that up! Hmm? Walking the path from beginning to end, angels and devils leave their eternal selves and become completely terrestrial. I don't believe it. It's just some angel trickery. 
Oh, surely such a thing couldn't happen. Through there. You mean that door is the entrance to the path? We searched for it for decades, then we found it. At the time, the door was open. Here it is, the path of metamorphosis. Oh, finally. We could become terrestrial and spend our lives together. Wait, but Tycho, what if we don't want to follow the path to the end? Huh? She was right. We should have thought twice before taking that path. But the gust of wind that blew from the path made us feel reckless. I'm willing to sacrifice everything. They call it the Sigh of Deception, but its real name is the Wind of Metamorphosis. It is very dangerous because it compels you to change, for better or worse. So you and Sai must have walked the path. We did, but if only we had paused to look above the door and read the inscription, we would have learned that no one has ever been able to walk the path to its end. You mean no one has ever made the change before? No, no one. But how is that possible? Because of the terrible trials scattered along the path. Huh? 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 She and I faced them all together, one by one. Every force of nature was unleashed against us. First heat and flames, and then cold and snow and the ice. The strength of our love was undeniable, but with the end of the path finally in view, we failed. We just failed. And so that's why Sai's not with you now? I didn't want to, but I had no choice but to return alone. I don't want to leave you! But you must. There's no time anymore. Take Grissera to remind you of me. Fumina, I want you to go with Sai. Oh, the sadness. Don't make me cry. You know a devil's not supposed to cry. I will love you forever. I will love you forever. Hmm. <sighs> so you just abandoned her there? I had no choice. You sure? The first thing I did when I returned was to chain the door up and lock it so no one could ever venture down that path again. You wanted to spare other angels and devils of the pain that you and Sai have endured, right? Mm-hmm. But it was all for nothing. The wind, the Sigh of Deception has been growing stronger and now threatens to break the door down. But if you realize what was happening, why did you waste time fighting us? I wanted to get rid of you, to scare you away from the theater at all costs. No one must go in there. So it was you who closed the Princess Theater? Of course I did. But why? Were the performances really that bad? <laughs> it wasn't the performances, but the play. One we're all familiar with, Romeo and Juliet. It's such a tragic love story. It must have reminded Tycho too much of his long lost love. Mm -hmm. If the wind is threatening to break the door down, why don't we just open it for a while? Right. If we allow the wind to vent, it won't build into a typhoon. Uh? Just like a pressure cooker. All you think about is eating. It's a fine idea, but it's impossible. Why is it impossible? This was the only key to the padlock, and now it is broken and can't be fixed. I fear that we have failed. All is lost. Forever. Huh? No? Huh? Hmm? Huh? No way! There's gotta be a way to fix the key! Let me look at it! Raph, have you got a plan? Since it's broken in two halves, hmm. Maybe we could join them together by melting the ends. You wanna try it with heat? Mm hmm. In flame! I'm sorry I failed. Don't feel bad, Raph. There's no way it can be repaired. So what do we do now? 
just wait for the typhoon to hit us? Where are you? Please, Andrew. She's delirious, but okay. You guys should take her back up to her friends. Raph, what are you suggesting? You should all go back to the theater and stand guard over your terrestrials. And you? I'll stay here and try to stop this big typhoon or whatever else will be coming from behind that door. That's crazy. You'll need some help. Mickey's got a point, you know. I don't agree. The only way to save the rest of us is for one of us to stay behind. It's awfully nice of an angel to sacrifice herself for some devils. Yeah, it's a capital idea. So what are we standing around here for? Come on, devils, let's go. You guys go ahead. I'll stay behind to give Raph a hand. You're wasting your time. No one can prevent the typhoon. So I hear. Well, we'll find out soon enough, <sighs> right? No way! You're coming with us, understand? No excuses. Kabale, if you're my friend, you won't make my decision any more difficult than it already is for me. How can you say that? But... Huh? If something goes wrong... I know she's right. I guess I'm just being what you call selfish. Oh, Sophus, I'm just so sorry. Now, Kabale, you know a devil should never apologize. It's happening. Go now. Protect our terrestrials like we always do. Oh. We will see you later, won't we? No goodbyes. True friends never really say goodbye. Friendships eternal. Mm. Huh? Huh? All right, now go. I trust that you're going to take care of all of my friends. Got it? Follow me. I know the quickest way to get back upstairs to the theater. Hmm. So? The plan? No plan. We're on our own. We'll have to wait for the chains to break and somehow try to hold back the typhoon. Oh. Oh. You are so brave and beautiful. So you're not angry with me? You don't really hate me, do you, Solfus? Hate you? I've always loved you even though your heart does belong to another. But there was no one else. But I... I thought you said there was. I was lying when I said that. I thought if you thought I had left you, it'd be easier. So you mean you're not in love with Terrence? No. That hurt me. Why would you do that? Because I wanted you to forget all about huh? me. See? Sophus, darling... Our love can never be. Forget me. You did that thinking you were sparing me pain? You put up with my wild accusations knowing all that time that you loved me? And you did all that because you hoped in the long run I'd be happy? I'm sorry for the way I acted. I thought devils were never supposed to apologize. Hey, huh? Raph, where's that ringing sound coming from? I think it's the birthmark on my neck from my human origins. But I never heard that sound when I was awake. What do you mean, Raph? Since we left the Golden School, I've had this recurring dream about the two of us getting married, Selfus. You mean like something that would come out of Reyna's spell? Exactly. But every time it was different. You were there, but then I would feel this powerful windstorm just like the Sigh of Deception. Then what happened? Tell me. I walked toward you down the aisle. But then things would change, like maybe your eyes or that wind, and the bell would wake me up. What? Like some sort of signal? Do you think it means anything in particular? If you have dreams about the sigh of deception, then those dreams led you here. You think so? But what does it mean? Mm. When Tycho said goodbye to Sai, he made her cry, right? Yes, he said he left her crying. Tycho, don't make me cry. You know a devil's not supposed to cry. His hands were wet from the devil's tears, and right after that, he forged those chains, hmm? built the padlock, huh? and made that key. You're saying the devil's tears helped him? 
We need to find out. When you started crying, I reached over to dry your tears and now my hands are moist like his <gasps> were. <sighs> What's <sighs> happening, Raph? I don't know, but I think the pieces are joining. Hmm. Mm. <gasps> <gasps> it worked! Yes, the key is whole again. <gasps> huh? Now what do we do? If we open the door, the wind will just sweep us away. Unless we open it just a little. What do you mean? Gas compared it to a pressure cooker. Not all at once, but a little at a time. If the pressure drops first, then there's no danger. But Sulfus, what can I do to stop the door from just swinging open? What? Well, that's where I come in. Buddy, fly! All right, I'm ready. I'm gonna hold the door steady while you insert the key, Raph. Now we just have to wait for the inevitable. I can feel the wind. The door must be open. But actually, it doesn't feel that strong. Mm -hmm. I've endured worse. Well, don't stand behind me. But how is this possible? I'd say that Raph has been successful with help from Sulphus. But nothing could contain that typhoon. Well, something did, and it happens to be very cute. Since the terrestrials are all safe and accounted for, why don't we go down and check on our friends? I hope Sulphus is okay. Andrew, is it really you? Jennifer, sweetheart, are you okay? Mm -hmm. My ankle still bothers me, but I'm much better now. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh, hey, you two. <gasps> what do you want? Can't you see we're busy? I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. I don't know why I did what I did. I really don't know what's come over me lately. Are we cool, Andrew? Let's just all blame it on that strange wind. <laughs> <laughs> Raph! Salphus! <sighs> Great job, dude! But how do you fix the key? <clears throat> the important thing is, we did it! That pressure cooker idea worked! Oh, good, because I'm starving! Uh -huh. Huh? Thank you for everything. Tycho, where are you going? I'll be searching for Psy. You mean you're going to walk the path of metamorphosis again? That's right, Sulphus. But I thought you couldn't make it the first time. That's true, I couldn't. But you and your friends have shown me something. Each of us has a choice that we must make, and I choose to follow uh -huh. my heart. I think you've made the right choice, and I'm sure you'll find Psy once again, and the two of you will become terrestrials. Well, I gotta say, he is very courageous. To risk it all for love. <sighs> Let's go back to campus, cause the pizzeria is calling my belly. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, students! The summer school semester is almost over, and so far, all of you have done a truly outstanding... And a truly terrible... Job with your lessons! Way to go! <gasps> Seems the work has left you exhausted. I'd say our stay here was enlightening. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Anyway, you can have the day off. The day off? You've earned it, and you'll be able to do whatever you want, either as an eternal or as a terrestrial. 
You mean you'll let us do whatever we want, Professor Terrence? If the rules allow for it. And our Axiom Devils? Rules, rules were made, made to be broken! broken. <laughs> so what should we do on our day off? There's a show in town that I wouldn't miss for the whole world. Mom, I want to go in, please, Mommy, please, please, let in? us go in. Calm down, the show hasn't even started yet. The theater is finally I wonder open. what these golden school players are like. It's cool, I got the tickets. Good for you, otherwise I would have left you here outside. Thank, Thank goodness, goodness you came. came. What's going on? You've got to help us. So what do you want us to do? Because of her broken ankle, she can't play the part. And I'm sick from all that pizza we ate. But Edward, you're supposed to play the part of Romeo. Something romantic's gonna happen. So you're looking for two new lead actors? Is that right? Yeah, and we go on in five minutes. Only the two of you can save us. Are you up to it? Me and Sulfus? Are you even suggesting? You're a great teacher. And you're a fine actress. It's perfect, you both know the play. Mm. Oh, come on now, pretty please, pretty please, what do you, what do you say? say? Oh. Mm. Did you ever think we would end up like this? In a way, it's typecasting. I think about that path. I can't help myself, Raph. If we could walk down it together, then we could overcome anything. But if we failed, we'd suffer for eternity like Sai and Tycho. You're right, but I'd be willing to take that risk if it means being together. I know what you mean. So what should we do? We should think long and hard about it together, and when we go back to Golden School, we'll make a decision. Together. In Fair Verona, where we lay our scenes, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their life. Whose misadventured, piteous overthrows do, do with their, their death bury their parents' strife. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh!